video. These videos have been floating around a little bit on the booktube a sphere. I don't know how you call it. Anyway, they're book unhaul. So usually for me, you see a lot of hauls where I buy lots and lots of books. Here you're gonna see where I'm gonna get rid of lots and lots of books. The reason for this is because I don't have a lot of space much anymore and you know sometimes you need to make some extra money so what I'm going to do with these books, um, usually when I get rid of books I will give them to Goodwill. This time I'm going to let my friends that, um, I have two friends that read the same books as, as me so I'm gonna let them rifle through them first to pick out what they want and after that whatever's left I am going to have a yard sale. Just thought of books, of other stuff, obviously, in my house and stuff. But yeah, usually I give them to Goodwill. I would honestly ship them out to you guys, but shipping is astronomical and I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> now some of them I have read, some of them I haven't read. I know I'm never gonna read. Some of them I just want to get rid of. Now I will say I do clean out my bookshelf a lot because I don't, I personally, my bookcases are in my living room and I have other stuff on them other than books like I have decor because that's how I like it. I like to have a little bit of this a little bit of that so I look through my bookshelves probably once every two months and take maybe a couple books out of there that I know I'm never gonna read and yeah hopefully I can part ways with these books just fine I think I can anyway there will be a two-parter of this book um on, on haul because I've had a lot of these books that I've been waiting to get rid of for a while and there is a ton so yeah this is just part one so let's get on to the books I am you know saying goodbye to like first one is happily ever after by Harriet Evans I bought this on a whim like maybe five months ago and I did not read the good re goodreads reviews and I don't think it has good reviews but of course I was drawn to the cover and then after I started to read it I really was not interested. This book as much as I want to read it I don't think I'm going to honestly and that is Bump by Megan Burkhafferty. A lot of people love this book I just don't think I'm ever going to read it. Let's be real. I'm very honest with myself when it comes to books and like clothes. If I'm not going to wear it, get rid of it. If I'm not going to read it, get rid of it. <laughs> Meant to be by Lauren Morrill. I have read this and I just liked it. I don't think a lot of times when I read books I try to really like scrutinize if they should be on my shelf or not and I've really scrutinized over this book. Overall I liked it. I really don't think I'm going to reread it again and I don't see myself needing it so bye bye. <laughs> the next one is The Kill Ordered by James Dashner. If you guys are familiar with James Dashner he wrote the Maze Runner trilogy which I love. Not the third book so much but this is a prequel to it and I started reading it and I've heard awful things about it and I'm just like why keep it if I'm never going to read it? I don't include it in the Maze Runner trilogy. I just kind of think of it as a whatever. So bye bye. <laughs> the Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing by Melissa Bank. Now I do have a book of Melissa Bank that I've read. It's called The Wonder Spot. And I wanted to read this one because it was kind of based off a movie called The Suburban Girl which Sarah Michelle Gellar is in it. It's an okay movie. I like Sarah Michelle Gellar obviously. But I found this book at a thrift store. It looks awful. I don't think I'm ever going to read it. Next book is Wake by Amanda Hawking. I have read this. I did not like it at all. Some people love this book. I will say the cover is beautiful. I just did not enjoy the book. Then we have Rush by Evie, Eve Silver. I did read this one. I liked it. I just honestly don't see myself continuing with this series. There are so many YA series out there. Like there's like 50 billion and I just I'm trying to be like Let's be realistic. Which ones am I going to stick with? Which ones am I not? This one I'm not. So we have Devoted by Hilary Duff. This is the second book in her series. The first one's called Elixir, I think. I have read that one. I liked it. And then I bought this one and I tried to read it and I just didn't. Ugh. I love Hilary Duff, but I didn't really enjoy the first book. So I'm sorry. Then I have four of the Sookie Stackhouse books and I have read a couple of these. Now forgive me, these are probably not in order. I have Club Dead, sorry, Club Dead, um, Living Dead in Dallas, Definitely Dead, Dead as a Door Now, that's it. So I think there's like nine books in this series. No, there might be more. Um, I've read like the first three. I liked it. I didn't love it. I did like True Blood at one point, but um, I don't have HBO and I don't think I would continue watching that series anyway. And I don't foresee myself um, finishing these books, so... These all I got from the thrift store, so I don't feel bad about it. Next book is The Demon Trapper's Daughter by Jana Oliver. I've had this for a long time. Like, ever since I started BookTube, I think I've had this, and I still haven't read it, so why am I keeping it around? I have Star Cross by Jennifer Eccles. I've read this, and I did not really enjoy it. And then I have The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Now, this is a hunk of a book. I got this two years ago for Christmas because I was like, J.K. Rowling, anything she writes, I'm gonna love. And then I was like, oh, it's a murder mystery. I'm not very good with those type of books, so. I'm sorry, JK. I still love you. Oh, JK. 
never mind if you don't get it. Um, I'm sorry, Miss Rowling. Then we have Babe in Boyland by Jodi Garham. I really thought I was going to read this, and then after like scrutinizing, I was like, I'm not going to read this. I have Remembrance by Michelle Meadow, and I, Meadow, sorry, and I think I won this in a giveaway, and this might be signed. Okay, so you know what? Stay tuned for an upcoming video. I will be giving away this book <laughs> because it's signed. So you guys, one of you guys should get it. Then I have, I'm going to go quickly through this next pile because there's a lot and I don't want to keep you guys. Generation Dead by Daniel Waters. Had it forever. Never going to read it. The Sky is Everywhere by Jannie Nelson. Had it forever. Never going to read it. I have Glitch by Heather Anastasia and Firelight by Sophie Jordan. Again, had them both. Probably never going to read it. Actually, the rest of these I've had for a long time, but I'm never going to read them. I have Five Flavors of Dumb by Anthony John. The Predeeks by Christine Staf Stafford. Forgive My Fins by Tara Lee Child. Never Lost by Louis Schusterman. I'm kind of hesitant to give this one away because I've heard good things about it, but I think I would rather like his Unwind series. And this one I have read. The Girl's Guide to Love and Supper Clubs by Dana Bate. It was good. I just don't foresee myself sitting those are the books I plan to get rid of. Now, some of them you're probably like, you're giving that away? Why? <laughs> Again, this is my own personal preference. I'm sure the books that you like, I might not like, and the books I like, you might not like. So these are books I honestly know I would never have read anyway if they sit on my shelf. So yeah, I encourage you all. It's very refreshing to take books off your shelves and make you feel a little bit better about looking at your TBR part instead of being, oh, I'm never gonna finish this. <laughs> So it is refreshing to look, to, you know, to get rid of some, to know that you're never going to read them, so why keep them? Give you some space to buy more books. Hello, BookCon. <laughs> Plus, you know, that's one of the reasons why. I'm like, go to BookCon in May, so I better freaking get rid of all of these books that, because I'm going to bring in a whole bunch of new ones. If you guys have done a video like this, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you because it's springtime, spring cleaning. Get rid of those books you're never going to read. They're going to a good place. Somebody else is going to buy them. Anyway, that is all for me, and I will talk to you later. Bye.